Previously on Top Mom Chef. Ah, I've got potatoes going everywhere. Ah! There's a lot of sizzling going on. I'm getting nervous. Mixed tenderloin is like perfectly cooked. I really like it, but I could use some sauce to it. Oh. And our final decision is... Pasta! I need a moment. And now they're back for round two, sponsored by Walmart Plus. Hey guys, and welcome back to Top Mom Chef. Today, Laura and I will be competing to earn our way back into the competition. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry I was late. Carpool line was crazy. Hi. I can't believe they brought in a new mom. For the next 60 minutes, we will perform the most difficult tasks that moms everywhere face. I'm sweating. Preparing a week's worth of school lunches. Fortunately, the shopping has been taken care of by my Walmart Plus membership. This is a perfect piece of pizza. The judges will be our tweens, the ultimate test. It smells really good, it smells really? like cinnamon. The losers will face their eye rolls. It's a little bit dry on the inside, but I'm fine with it. At stake for the winners, the envy of moms everywhere. A year-long membership to Walmart Plus giving you free same-day delivery of fresh groceries from your local store and the title of Top Mom Chef. All right, ladies, Walmart Plus has delivered everything we need to create delicious lunches. We each have five minutes to grab what we need and 55 minutes to create five lunches. Time starts now. Mark, oh, ooh, I love these. Pringles! Yeah. Can't find anything I need. Oh my god. I'm going to squash the competition. What are you even going to do with that? <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm making spaghetti squash. Are you going to use this? Yes, that's mine. <laughs> I'm going to organize my picks before I dive in. I have two words for you. Semi homemade. Where is that one? Three kinds of Pringles. I love these. If I had two words to describe myself as a chef, I would say bare minimum. Is that peanut butter? Yes. How amazing is this? You squeeze. My philosophy is, if they're hungry, they'll eat. So good. Salad. I saw what she's making. Done. Is she even trying? Oh, I did it. Yeah. I saw this online. It's so cute. It looks super easy. You just take crescent rolls, lay them flat, layer it up, how cute is this, Meg? Cut a slit in each side and braid. The kids are gonna love it. Not as much as they love butternut squash soup. <laughs> I think kids can love eating healthy and I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna take my butternut squash and this is a giant squash they delivered. Walmart Plus. I need a machete. Are you okay? It's gonna take forever. My arms are so sore. I'm going to cut the skin off and then cut it into cubes. The smaller you cut them, the faster they cook up. How's it going? Then I saute them with some onion, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Do that for about 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. Add secret ingredients, some apple cider and some chicken broth. Bring that to a boil and simmer it just until it's tender, about 15 minutes. And then I'm just using an immersion blender to blend up my soup. Someone smell something burning? Yeah, that's me. It looks good though. It's not burning. I feel like I need some sort of, like how do I take it out? A thingy? You mean a Like a spatula? Yeah. Man, this is hard work. Can I taste it? Sure. I do have some tricks up my sleeve. Mmm, so yum. Maybe like a tiny bit more salt though? It was plenty salty. I've never actually made Rice Krispie Treats before. <laughs> this is so fun. Can't be that hard. Seriously, oh my god, it's kind of like a little bit burning. Oh god, I maybe turn it down a little bit. Okay, one more, and then here comes the marshmallows. Did I put too much cereal in? <laughs> Turns out, I can bake. <laughs> this is amazing. Does she know she can just buy those? 
Spaghetti squash is super easy to make. You cut off your ends, then cut the squash in half and scoop out the seeds. Rub that with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and put it face down onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I just slide it into my oven 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And that's when I realized. 35 minutes left, ladies. I should have started sooner. Okay, tacos. I didn't win with the tacos last time, but the kids liked them, so I'm doubling down. Ooh, that looks pretty. This is a perfect piece of pizza. It's like I've already won. I don't think anyone will know, right? It's a Friday lunch. Give me a break. For my fourth meal, I'm making a burger with a custom sauce. The kids won't even know it's vegan. Breakfast or lunch is always a winner. And I'm gonna make a perfect too, but here's the trick. I just squeeze the go-gurt out. Mmm, this looks good. Wow. As the clock ticks down, I'm really starting to get nervous. Do you know how hard tween girls are to please? Ooh, it's cheesy. Oh, look at that. Five minutes left, ladies. How cute is this? Kids love to eat jalapeno. What? <sighs> Sweating. All right, time's up. <laughs> we just made it. <laughs> All right, girls. The selection for mom number one. Wow. I'm looking forward to this one. I don't know what this is. Let me smell it. It smells really good. It smells really? like cinnamon. I'm trying the pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's pretty good. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so I think it's an apple. I thought it was a potato for a second, but. <laughs> it's cute though, right? In the heart shape? I, really, I really like it in the heart shape, yeah. You don't have to lie. So good. <gasps> Selection number yes. two. Finally. Ooh. Mm. Let's get it. I don't know where to start. Is that a Rice Krispie? I need to try that. Oh my God. I need it. Mm. Can you I love switch it. it closer to me? I don't know what this is, but it's really good and I love it. I'm making a parfait. Oh, it's good. I like the yogurt. I like the crunch that the cereal is giving it. I love like the tangy flavor in the chicken. This selection has been really good so far, I think. I agree. I agree. Here's the third selection. <gasps> oh my god! I don't oh know my gosh, I've ever always wanted to try one of these. Sorry. <laughs> I love to eat this one. Okay, so I'm a sucker with anything with juice in it. So. Okay, I'm trying a Lunchable. The pizza is so good and so cheesy, but it's a little bit dry on the inside. But I'm fine with it. I really like the crispiness of the crust on the bottom. PB and J, I missed you. Okay, moms, time to leave so we can discuss. Yeah. First one. Um, I love the soup that I dipped like those cracker in it. I had no idea what was in the soup. It smelled like cinnamon, but it was really good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought like the first one was a little bit thing. excessive. Yeah. And yeah. And it's like they're trying to show off to the other kids. And I don't want to show off to the other kids yeah. with my spaghetti squash. So I really like the second one because of the Rice Krispie treats, which I thought were super good. Um, and also, I really like the taco. Like, that was really smart to how to make that yogurt parfait. The last one was also really good. I mean, it had the yogurt. I feel like the creator of that section just like really knows how young minds work. We've decided! Yeah! You guys all put in a good effort. Yeah. Except for the last person <laughs> who didn't put in any effort at all. <laughs> Everything was homemade. The winner! It was so good! It was oh, the best baby. thing I ever tried in my life! And you thought I wasn't a good cook! <laughs> Mama's back! We did number one. 
Well. Okay, well. Um. Well, I guess they don't like eating healthy. There goes that theory. At least I finished my book. All right, we love you guys anyway. Thank you. Anyway. Mom. Today's challenge was sponsored by Walmart Plus.